had the Google Analytics Great Users Event New York. I'm uh, Daniel Weisberg. I'm here with uh, Phil Mui. Phil is the Group Product Manager at Google Analytics. And he has been uh, behind the many of the developments that we saw lately. Uh, welcome. Thank you, Daniel, for having me. And Phil, would you share with us some of the things that you, you do at Google? Uh, yeah. Uh, very simple, simply, uh, I work on one product, right? and I lead the product development for this product called Google Analytics. Okay, and since the last time we spoke on, uh, on March, many, many things have changed. Well, I think the world has changed when it comes to Google Analytics. Would you share with us a few words about the new... Uh, we have Google Premium, Google Analytics Premium, and we have the real time. I think are the big ones. And would you share with us a few how how this changed Google Analytics? In a certain way, the trajectory where Google Analytics is going has not changed. Let me make a bold statement like that. So, if you look at when Google Analytics was first created, uh, a scant six years ago in 2005. The product in the beginning is really trying to make advanced analytics available to the masses. Right? We, we try to call it um, democratize advanced analytics to everyone. In the ensuing years, what the entire team have been trying to do is once the adoption is achieved in terms of Google Analytics widespread use, we focus on usage, on the higher, more useful features that could actually help marketers improve their online effectiveness. And so in 2007, 8, and 9, a number of very advanced enterprise features, advanced segmentation, custom reporting, uh, intelligence, etc., were rolled out. And so as the product matures, we also move up market in a certain way. So over the past uh, year, as you know, in March, we rolled out a brand new platform for the product. This is the platform that a lot of new innovations are built upon. And the reason that this platform was rolled out is so that we can have greater feature velocity without sacrificing the robustness, the scalability of the Google Analytics platform. So to answer the question about trajectory, we have always wanting to be building these advanced features so that even large enterprises can use Google Analytics in a way that is useful, intuitive, and at the same time, not be obfuscated by a very complex pricing structure. Okay, and what's the secret of, of this quick development uh, base? I mean, you've been la launching so many interesting things. How, how can you do that that fast? The easiest cop-out answer is that in Google, we hire simply amazing people. And that really, at the bottom of it, really underscores why the team is so effective. Uh, I am very proud to be uh, colleagues to many of my amazing, uh, amazingly talented uh, engineers, designers, testers, salespeople, support people. So um, I think that's the, that's the core reason. I think another reason is um, that the team has a sense of mission, right? Um, analytics as a field has been a very complicated field uh, for many years until Google Analytics came along. It was used right in the 1990s and the early 2000s by the techies. And in the past few years, just take a look at as soon as Google Analytics uh, you know, became widespread, uh, the vocabulary that we introduced to the marketing community has really made this tool much more widespread and easily understandable. So for the team, able to see the fruit of their labor being widely used is an incredible motivator. And so the mission, right, that we would like to bring advanced analytics to the masses and make this universally useful and helpful to marketer is an incredible incentive. And I think that's the second reason that the team is able to move so quickly. Okay, and uh, more personal question. 
I saw that you were a, a researcher at Stanford before uh, coming to Google, and you worked with uh, the genomics and uh, in the biology field. And biology has a very uh, old. Uh, <coughs> biology has always been uh, the the ground for developments on statistics, and people work with big data. So, did it help you somehow to deal or to understand how to to build Google Analytics? Or you know, this past week we all commemorated the death of Steve Jobs. Yes. There is uh, a statement that he made during the Stanford commencement. Uh, that really uh, resonates with me. So what he said was that, at least hopefully I'm not paraphrasing too badly, that you know when you uh, look forward uh, based on the things you're working on, it's very hard to connect the dots. But when you look backward, things that you, you know, spend a lot of time thinking about and doing somehow seem to be able to connect together. So similarly, right, there's no way in the um, you know, in 2003-2004, I would have thought I'm going to be working on analytics. And yet, looking back, it seems like the large, the big data problem that uh, I was privileged to be a part of in Stanford somehow is related to analytics, right? Because it is about solving highly complex data problem. It is about uh, big data. It is about using many parallel machines to leverage the power of all these multiple core processors to make computation happen. So a lot of that, Google Analytics right now is actually relying on. Uh, now, not that I do the coding or pretend to even understand how some of these things work, but the fact that when you look back, how things are tied together is an incredible connecting thought moment for me. Nice. And how do you see the industry going forward? What's the future of analytics? So analytics currently is relatively still siloed. Right? If you ask your friends, I mean, there are a few companies that, are, that have integrated analytics into their business core. But for the majority of companies in the US and around the world, analytics is still a IT function or relegated to a few analysts within the VP of marketing organization. I hope that uh, in 10 years, in 20 years, analytics for every large company, small company, and any business would be like the air that they breathe. Right? Google Analytics, or analytics generally, should be helping marketers and business people make better decisions based on the data that informs them of what is going on. Today, analytics is an isolated functionality that is used for operational or sometimes tactical matters. But shouldn't we aspire to something more? Shouldn't we aspire to every decision that we make should be based on sound data? Hopefully, in 10, 20 years' time, when we look back, we can connect the dots. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Phil. It was a, it's pleasure. a pleasure. And Thank congratulations on on Google Analytics, it's looking amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you.